Wow. I don't think it's a good idea to send Tasnim to a jewelry store. No, it's definitely <laughs> not. And you know what? For sixty-one thousand a piece, I would be very friendly. To you too. <laughs> And that's even without discounts. Yet. That's even yeah, without the discounts. discounts. Oh my goodness gracious me! Well, anyway, I hope Tasnim, you know, you're you're not planning a wedding next year because if you are, oh my, I know how how the budget's going to be burst. I know. <laughs> well, okay. Early on, we we're talking about youth and how they spend their money, but now we are talking about let's talk win 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 win. Menang 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 lagi menang. Anyway, let us bring on our guest in the studio. We've got as usual on a Monday, Mushida Said, our motivator, our speaker, and our trainer. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? Good. Ready to win. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Before yeah. I start off talking about uh, win win, uh, perhaps what I'd like to do is you guys have played uh, done arm wrestling before, have you? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I want you to sh- uh, hold each other's hand as if you are shaking each other's hands. Okay. Okay. okay and I'm going to say whoever is uh, manages to get your hand uh. closest to your side the most number of times, that means you have to pull your own hand towards your own side. Mm. Okay. And the person who gets that most of the uh, most number of times to your side will win. All right. Disclaimer: like, He goes to the gym. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, let's try that. Yeah, I, I should okay. give face lah. Okay. Okay. I also okay, give face lah. Okay, la. right. One, two, three, go. Uh, so we try to pull. All right. Wow. Yeah, try to pull. Wow, you guys are strong. Wow. Wow. Okay, wow. now I'd like you to do instead, give Terence a, a break so that he can he can pull his hand yeah. to one side and Zamil pull your arm to your side. Give me a well. break. You're heavier. You have hair. Okay, <laughs> and you go, Zamil. Okay. Right. Go. How does that feel? Uh, that's Compared to just not better. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you know what you guys are doing? You guys are actually collaborating uh, and uh, giving a win-win situation uh, to both of us. Okay. Now, when I so, do this in my in my programs, and I, I I play all sorts of games to show a win-win situation. How people play that game is actually a reflection of how they are in real life. Oh. It's a real life behavior. Mm-hmm. So most of the time. People, because we have been programmed from young to be competitive, right. you know, as in competitive not within ourselves. That's mm. a good competition, mm. but competing so that the other person will lose. I want to yeah. win, that uh, and the other person has to lose, so they'll compete, mm. and both of them end up struggling, mm. right? So, law of universe says collaboration. As long as we give, we take. We give, we take, right? That actually is beneficial, and that's why I asked, how do you guys both feel after that? Mm-hmm. And you said. You feel much, much better. better. Yeah, you feel definitely happier. much better. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you both get to win. Mm-hmm. And some people struggle uh, in that situation, and they don't. Both sides did not even get any points. You mm. know, so it's a lose lose situation. But that is how people are sometimes like in life because mm. they don't care as long as the other person loses. They don't mind losing as well, mm. right? That uh, that 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 is one um, attribute. The other one is a win lose situation where the other person win. wants to win. So that the other person will lose. That is a highly competitive person, mm. and we also have a situation where a person just ah, never bagila, bagila. You know, I, I just let go, and that is how they are like in real life as well. They are always giving, gi- yeah. giving without even taking, and it, it, it makes them unhappy most of their lives. Oh. And they say, why am I not, you know, not, not, not happy? You know, and everybody takes from me. But when you play that game, people can you can see a real life behavior coming out. You know, um, that I would say is like uh, the the wallpaper syndrome. You know, they they just uh, let my lah, let other people just let other people take over. I'll just uh, just stand in the background as usual. Mm. You know, but that does not make them happy. Mm. So that some people have that psyche of the lose win situation, mm. right? So what I'm uh, actually advocating here is that in our lives, right? Let us always think of. At least win-win. Me benefit when we do business, when we're in a relationship, anything. Win-win. You know, mm. I benefit from it, and you benefit from it. Mm. And the other thing, I'd also like to also add because in my class we talk about principles. All right, win-win is uh, when a, uh, when it's a human interaction, any human interaction, and it's principle based. One person benefits, the other person benefits as well. Mm. Right. But I what I, I always advocate uh, this uh, successful pr- uh, personal principles that we should practice, mm. and personal principles. Be carried forward in any aspect of our of your life, whether it's professional, whether it's relationship, right? Uh, we think win, win, win. Mm. Now, what is win, win, win? Okay, most of the time we always hear of a win-win situation, right? Mm-hmm. I benefit, you benefit. Mm-hmm. Um, but let's talk about, you know, uh, in the past we've had incidents like uh, the Sanlu milk powder incident, mm-hmm. where the manufacturer of the milk benefits because 
they make cheap milk and yep. profit mm. margins go up. Their partners also profit margins go up, right? Uh -huh. But who loses? The community loses. The mm. babies die from that milk, mm. right? Because of the poison in there. So when we want to engage in any business relationship, any social relationship, mm. we think of a win-win-win situation. You know, I benefit, you benefit, and the community benefits from whatever partnerships that we, we have, any interactions that we have. We had an example of a partnership in, <laughs> that went wrong, the win-lose uh, win situation. Okay. But do we have any examples in real life of the win-win situation working out for people? Um, well, a lot of times uh, uh, people have like a win a win win situation is when uh, two people have uh, a beneficial uh, relationships. Mm -hmm. You know, like you let's say you go into a relationship and yes. you feel good in that. It makes you a better person, and so does the other person. They don't feel like oh, because I got into this relationship, I'm worse off, mm -hmm. or I, I'm not as happy. So that is actually a win lose situation. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes also in business, you mm -hmm. know, you work in a business relationship and the other person. It is a win win situation, but the other person wins more than the other, uh, and one party wins more than the other. Right. That one also is uh, not truly a win win situation. So, if we can uh, change our psyche in terms of when we conduct business, we think how would that other person feel in mm. that relationship, whether it's right. win win and it has to be equitable. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Why do you think that nowadays, uh, you know, the trend is that everyone is competing, mm. whether it being students or even you know colleagues or arm wrestlers, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. anyone, yeah. you know, basically they are really competing with each other, yeah. and they always try to pull the other party down yeah. or something like yeah. that. You know, even uh, normal situation, the parents will just compare the children's report cards. Right. So, oh, my son got four A's, and my son got five A's. You know, mm. what did your son get? You know, something yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, no, that, indirectly, of course. Exactly, Zamil. That mm. is something that has been conditioned from our in our society for years mm -hmm. and years and years. Right. Um, and you know, they they they've been through you know a lot of uh, wars and you know that that kind of mentality of oh mm. I have to benefit. It is the scarcity mentality. It is not the abundance mentality. Mm. Abundance mentality means God has created more than enough resources here on earth mm. for all of us. Mm. But the scarcity mindset says oh it's not enough. Mm. I have to take more. So the other person will lose otherwise right. I will not get enough for myself mm. right so there is the scarcity mindset and that is something that is dangerous because people will go who has that mindset it will be something that will go on and on in their lives it's never enough right like we talk about children who are spending so much money it's not enough what if when they buy they buy something yeah. and then they will always want to buy something else, else because something yeah. else looks better True. you know is that scarcity mindset and that is actually very dangerous in our uh, in our minds uh, in our society we would yeah. continue this and um, sad to say it is also it all started from young parents influence the kids mm. oh my kid is better than yours you know you start that and in school also the same thing right mm -hmm. in school they say oh okay uh, you cannot copy each other you cannot help your friend because you, you, you whatever answer is yours so people have that 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 mindset and it goes into their adult life and mm. it comes to work and sometimes the worst thing if that too competitive mindset goes into uh, their, their, their lives it will be carried out in their personal lives they'll start comparing to uh, their wives to other people's wives. So why can't you do something like her? You know that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, so that that is something that is actually um, not good, and that's why it. When we say something about personal lives, right? People, people sometimes say, "Oh, what is personal is not the same as business." Mm. I said, "No. You know how you are in your personal life is how you conduct in all areas of your life. If you can cheat on your wife, you can cheat in business with small, small, uh, you True. know, uh, right. budgeting and all that kind of thing." Oh, that's a right? recipe for disaster right there. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> when we look at the situation of win-win, uh, we, we always also have to deal with this thing called compromise sometimes. Yeah. So yeah. how do we evaluate a compromise? If I were to be the one giving in, mm -hmm. yeah. how do I evaluate that against maybe what I would get later yeah. on? And that is where communication comes in. Mm -hmm. You know, people, well, why sometimes they keep a certain feeling when you say, oh, you, you, you conduct a relationship or business relationship or any uh, transaction, right? Uh, hu where human interactions are involved. They do not communicate and tell them how they really feel about certain things. So, I would say open communication is important, mm -hmm. but everything should be done with love and respect. Mm -hmm. You know, and that is when win-win comes in, mm -hmm. all right? And that is also when win-win-win comes in because whenever we do a certain situation, we, uh, a certain in, uh, business interaction or anything like that, we always have to think, what, how does 
the community benefit from this? Is it something that only us will win? Will we just make profits from, uh, for example, a product that we cover, uh, we bring up, you know, we, we introduce to, to the world? Say, right. okay. Um, and that is what's happening right now where people, they don't care about the content of any personal care. You know, or whatever a uh, 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 product that they yep. they come out with, yep. and they, that they don't, they, it doesn't matter whether the plate, uh, the the, uh, the product has toxins or anything. Yep. You know, they just they just make it why because oh, it's profitable. Yes. And who loses is the community, right? Mm -hmm. The oh, consumers. That's right. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we always must think a long term uh, win mm -hmm. for the community at large. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I would also like to to share is that my husband says, let us. Not just think we win win in everything we do because this is a new concept to me, honestly, you know, guys. Mm -hmm. I, I, I started thinking win 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 only just about two years ago okay. in everything that I do. Right. My husband said, hey, come, let's just, um, we go one step further to keep improving ourselves. We think, we think win 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 win. So, oh, what wins. is that win 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 win? Because we are we we are God fearing people, mm -hmm. right. so it's a win as in whatever business transaction or any human interaction, I benefit, yep. the other person benefits, mm -hmm. society benefits, and our soul benefits. That our means we benefits. are we are at peace. That means we know that whatever we do, God will accept our actions. Right. You know, so we think it's not only something that is iffy or mm -hmm. something that is like okay, does not it does not add value to our purpose, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So whatever we do, we think. I benefit, the other person benefits, the society benefits and it is good for our purpose and our soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So well, we're at peace. Okay, um, maybe if you know we want to start doing that a win 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 situation. Uh. Um, what we can start small. Yeah. Maybe uh, give us an example of how we can achieve that. Okay. First of all, you, you know you must have that open communication with the person that you are uh, dealing with, mm. uh, the work that you are dealing with. Mm -hmm. So uh, make sure the other person benefits and you benefit. And when that person is aware of that win-win-win-win concept, or mm. at least that win-win-win concept, mm -hmm. the person will uh, be able to say, okay, how does this benefit society? You know, how does whatever business that we do will actually benefit? Other other people, not mm -hmm. just us. That means not just we make money or something that is profitable to us, but other people as well will benefit from that. There you go. Mm. So we introduced not only the win-win, we got the win-win-win and the win-win-win-win. <laughs> Four right. win. win. win win I uh, can start. Yeah. Terence, I appreciate hosting with you. Uh, I also appreciate hosting with you, man. So we both feel good, so we make you feel good. Hopefully. La. <laughs> hey, wrong, wrong tagline. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much, Rusida, yes, for joining us you. this morning. Thank it's been you. fantastic having you as usual on a Monday. Exactly. Up next, uh, a segment that completely suits Stefan's accent. <laughs> Sicily. 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 Italiano. Italia. Right. Okay, yeah. Sicily for men. No Capisce? wonder they didn't call me to go, they called Stephen instead. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Let's take a look.